Hello, everybody. Um, thank you so much, everybody, for coming. It's, uh, we got a jam-packed day for you. Um, we're going to start with uh, Gloria Waters. They'll give a, um, a kickoff to us. Um, then we'll have Mark, our keynote speaker. And then I'll kind of give an overview of the day, and we'll jump into it. Um, so when we kicked this off five years ago, the whole project seemed kind of crazy. Worth doing, um, incredible potential, but enormous challenges. Um, it's been successful. We're really excited about where we've gotten to. And it's been successful because of the community. I sort of think of this project as a stone soup where many different parties do their bit. To get everybody to buy in, one institution had to buy in first, and that institution was Boston University um, in the Harari Institute. Uh, it's provided us a space, um, an environment coupled with, and space, by the way, is not a small thing in universities. Um, it uh, provides an environment coupled with SAIL and SPARK that give us what we need to kind of succeed this project, um, a huge amount of legal and administrative support, um, and corporate relations. Um, Gloria's been a critical supporter of the project, building an executive board for governance of the project going on as it stays in BU, um, giving us key access, direct access to the key decision makers in the university, um, supporting us with all her peers in the MGH PCC. So thank you, Gloria. Um, Can I, I use this? Sure. Okay, great. Does this work? Yeah. Good. Okay. Thank you. Uh, so good morning, everybody. Um, I'm really happy to uh, welcome you to this uh, fourth annual Mass Open Cloud workshop. Uh, I've been in this position for four years, and the Mass Open Cloud was something that was just coming uh, into life as I came into this position, and I've... Uh, I've uh, grown with it, and it's grown with me over the years of, of being in uh, this position. So the Mass Open Cloud project is really an outgrowth of a really rich collaboration that began with uh, five academic research institutions, um, and they first joined together to form the Mass Green High Performance Computing uh, Center, which we refer to as the MGHPCC. And so those five institutions, BU, Harvard, MIT, Northeastern, and UMass, um, have really been collaborators and working together um, for these years um, on making the Mass Open Cloud really become a reality. And I always think back to the beginning of this. I think I originally thought of the MJHPCC as just a structure in which we would all put our uh, equipment, uh, kind of like a condo for uh, computing equipment. But it's actually developed into an incredible academic and research collaboration. And that's really nice to see because there hasn't been a history of all of these institutions working together um, in many other areas of science. And um, it's, uh, it's, it's an example that we always point to about how the institutions in Boston really do work together and really do collaborate. And I think the Mass Open Cloud is a prime example of a research project uh, that came out uh, of this collaboration. Um, and so over the years, the Mass Open Cloud um, has put together a functioning cloud using infrastructure and resources that came from lots of different sources, which um, is one of the challenges of it. Um, and I think, you know, as you hear today and have heard over the years, there were a lot of ideas that were tried and didn't work and then others that did. Um, but the effort has really paid off and I think we can now see that the project is moving forward and lots of new partnerships um, have emerged as a result of this and lots of new ideas have, have taken root. And I think um, the Mass Open Cloud and just the whole computing community has really evolved and grown um, since this. And it is a really an example of how a, a vision um, became a reality uh, with lots of work and lots of collaboration across universities and I think it all happened because of the dedication of this huge community of researchers. Um, all of our research IT departments have had to be really helpful and um, have been huge, huge contributors, and also industry and government. So it's actually one of the few examples that we have in the university of such a wide-based collaboration of government and um, industry and um, institution on uh, such a wide range of institutions. Um, <clears throat> I think it's not... Um, unimportant that this happened in the Commonwealth of Massachusetts, where there really is value in investing in a project like this and understanding the importance of industry. And um, the state was really one of the major uh, contributors um, initially with, with seed funding. And I think uh, they're really pleased to see the Mass Open Cloud have, to have come to the state that it really is today. Um, I think one of the interesting things about the Mass Open Cloud is the opportunities that it's provided to all of us. 
So I think um, for academic departments, it's actually provided a really nice opportunity for faculty to develop courses that engage students um, in collaborations uh, with industrial partners. It's provided our ISNT departments all an opportunity to work together um, and uh, put this equipment together with new models uh, to support research. And I think um, it's really allowed BU and also the Mass Tech Collaborative to think about new ways of having public-private partnerships and new ways that we can sort of collaborate on making really great things happen um, in the state. So I think today we want to, first of all, thank all of the academic partners. They've really played a critical role. Um, so the five universities that I talked about initially, and also um, the MGHPCC and John Goodhue, who's been a really big supporter of everything that we do there. Um, it's set up so that we have um, industries that are referred to as our core partners. Those are Cisco, Intel, NetApp, Red Hat, Two Sigma, and um, the U.S. Air Force. And then there are also um, contributing partners who really play critical uh, role in bringing technical expertise to the table. Um, and then there's just a wider Mass Open Cloud community of students and uh, faculty who've all contributed in lots of different ways. Um, it's nice to see that the research, that the project is having an impact on research. It's, I think, providing faculty uh, with lots of interesting questions that wouldn't necessarily have come up if we didn't have something like the Mass Open Cloud. And um, it's really a platform that's exposing the research community and um, to all these questions and they can leverage it in different kinds of ways. Um, as Aran said, um, a project like this is complicated, more complicated than any of us would like or would have known when we um, first entered into it. It has taken um, countless uh, hours, legal hours and uh, or support of our legal team and coordination organization. Uh, uh, but that being said, I think we're really thrilled to host it here at Boston University. It's been a really um, a, a great project uh, for collaboration. So I definitely want to thank Oran because he's absolutely critical um, in his role as the PI on this here at BU. And um, he has provided tireless commitment to this project uh, for five years now, I would say. Um, and he's spent a lot of th time thinking about the vision and the development and the strategy and planning. Um, and I know that he's been um, joined by colleagues uh, at, at all the other universities, but um, Peter Denoye, uh, in particular at Northeastern. And um, as Azar said, this all started at the Hariri Institute. Um, or as Oran said, it started at the Hariri Institute, um, and Azar Bastavros has been a huge supporter of it um, all along also. And I think um, you know, it's a good example of the kinds of things that um, the Hariri Institute incubates and then hopes that it grows into its own um, it, it, its own thing as it moves on. So I think um, this is a, a really positive example of the way that we like these small projects to actually um, grow um, into a full-fledged uh, project um, on its own. So I hope that you all have a very productive day today. My sense is you're gonna learn a lot about what's been happening in the past year. Thank you.